From the Target 12 investigators, our questions getting results before the story even aired. We found out about a pot of government money that's barely been touched. Millions of dollars was set aside for housing help RI for tenants facing eviction. But so far, the fund has helped only a few people, and we wanted to know why. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details. Six and a half million dollars is available for renters who lost their jobs due to COVID-19, but accessing that money has been stalled for six weeks. May 2nd, Crossroads was put in charge of $1.5 million in federal funds for Housing Help RI. A tenant at this Warwick apartment complex who asked not to be identified tells Target 12 he applied for the program, in his words, within 10 minutes of Governor Raimondo announcing the money was available. And so far, six weeks since he applied for Housing Help RI. He's received only automated responses like this one, asking for more documentation. Every In late May, as Raimondo announced $5 million would be added to the fund, there were about 3,800 applicants, and no one had received any payments. Now, 45 tenants have applied. About 1,500 did not meet federal criteria. 1,700 were asked to provide additional documentation, and about 1,300 cases are awaiting payment. According to Crossroads, less than $10,000 of the six and a half million has been paid out, with spokesman Mike Rea telling us, quote, we will begin distributing more as we receive and approve more completed applications in accordance with the HUD guidelines. Rea says the delay has been caused by federal and state eligibility requirements. The problem now has the attention of the governor following a question from Eyewitness News. Can you just tell us what the holdup is on those funds? And I will look into it. I'm Disappointed to hear there is a holdup, and I, I'll get back to you. Late this afternoon, the governor's office did get back to us, saying they plan on dispersing at least $200,000 from that fund by July 1st. We have more details on WPRI.com. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.